Hey guys, it's Hef. I am back again and today I am going to do a tag video. This was started by uh, George's Nails, who I will link down below. I was tagged by Claire, who of course I will link down below. This is the one and only tag. This is nail polishes that I only have one of in a particular brand. There are a couple of brands like Sally Hansen where I only have one in a particular line that she sells but I have not included those because there's a few of those. Um, these are brands like the whole brand. I only have one polish in those brands. Um, I've also left out top coat type ones because that's just weird. Um, this is just coloured nail polishes. So. Let's just get into it. The first one is this colour by TBN. Um, this is called Wicket. It's supposed to be a neon. I haven't ever used this. <laughs> Got this in a subscription box. Uh, colour by TBN is quite honestly my least favourite brand. Uh, I've had some very bad experiences with this brand. Mainly the smell. Yep, they smell very, very strongly. Um, I do acrylic nails, so I know what strong smells are when it comes to nail stuff. This is worse than acrylic nail liquid. It's just, it's terrible. <laughs> um, the only reason I haven't got rid of this one yet is um, I figure I'll keep it as a warning to anybody. Don't buy this brand, it's terrible. So, um, I did have some others a while back, um, and I have got rid of all of them. So. That is that one. The next one is another one I got in a subscription box. I think I got this in monthly. Um, I have some lipsticks from this brand, but this is the only nail polish. Uh, this is from Tees Cosmetics. This is Atomic Dragonfly. It's a very uh, dark blue with sparkly things in it. It's uh, I use it occasionally. Um, I actually used it in uh, the video that I just put up the other day where I was using the Born Pretty stamping plate. That was actually this polish that I was using. That's why it was sitting here, is because I was waiting to film this video. <laughs> uh, the next one I have is from Tips and Toes. Uh, this is number 65, it doesn't have a name. Uh, this I got when I did a purchase through Cosmetic Capital, which is an online retailer in Australia that sells stuff like nail polish and makeup really, really cheap. Um, I wanted to just try this brand out and see if I liked it or not. It's nice enough, it's a reasonable nail polish. So, um, yeah. The next one is another one that I bought in the same purchase. Normally when I buy a new brand, I buy two of, it, at least two of the polish to actually try them out. Um, usually in two colours that I like or in um, like a yellow and a colour I like just to see what the formula is like. Um, but for some reason these ones I didn't do that. Uh, so this is from Jessica. This one is I Am Strong. This is an icy blue with uh, iridescent glitters in it. It's actually quite pretty. It's not the best nail polish ever, but it's nice enough. Uh, the next one is one I've had for absolutely ages. This is from Kester Black. This is called Ruby Tuesday. This was actually um, created for Bellbox by Kester Black. The name is not actually printed on here. I know that that's what the name of it is though. Um, this is a really, really nice orangey red. I actually quite like this one. It's a nice polish. Uh, yeah. I thought I only had a couple when I was trying to think about this, but it turns out I have a few more than that. <laughs> I had to do a lot of digging around in my... Because I have like eight, over 800 nail polishes. So it, it took a bit of digging around to actually locate all of these. Especially now that I have them by colour rather than by brand. 
Um, this one, well, technically it's two polishes, but it's, um, they come together as one polish. This is from Strange Beautiful. I believe that's the brand name. I have no idea what these colours are. These came if, oh, in a bell box. These are not the nicest colours ever. Not the best nail polish ever. <laughs> um, but, you know, it's interesting. It's a little different. Uh, so basically, all the colourways are supposed to kind of work together. These really don't, but whatevs. Um, then I have, this is my last Mier yeah, Nail Lacquer. This was an indie brand that was around for a little while. No longer is in existence. Um, I have actually finished up the other two I had of this. So this makes this the only Mier mm, yeah, Nail Lacquer that I actually have. This one is in Royal Velvet. It's kind of a satin, matte, purple, duo chrome, sort of like purple to blue. Then we have one that uh, people might have seen in some of my other videos. It's been in at least one other video. This is from Revita Nail. I do have like nail treatments from Revita Nail. This one is graphite. It's just a grey kind of colour. It's the one and only Revita Nail colour that I've ever actually seen, which is why I bought it. Um, yeah, so it's a one and only. Second to last one. This is actually a Milani nail polish. I don't know where I picked this up. Uh, this is called Iris Ice. It is um, a fairly thin, um, you can see it's sort of, I don't know if you can see, it's sort of the glitter very slowly dropping from the top. Um, it's a low irisy kind of colour. It's a purpley kind of colour with lots and lots of silver glitter in it. Not the best nail polish ever, but still. And the last one is my one and only colour club. This is Wild and Willing. This is actually kind of disappointing. I've heard so much good stuff about um, colour club, but this is not one of their best polishes. Um, it's kind of thin, needs quite a few coats to actually build it up. Um, I probably like bought it in a random sale on like Oz sale or something. Um, but yes, this is the only colour club that I actually own. I'd really love to own the Hello, Hello Hues, but they're actually really hard to get in Australia. They're not the easiest brand to get here. Um, yeah, so that is my one and only colour club. So those are all of my one and only brands. Um, in my quite vast collection, um, I tend to stick to brands or I buy multiples of a polish to test them out. So I don't really often have singles of any particular brand. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so that is it for this video. Again, I will leave George, George's Nails link down below and Claire as well. Um, thanks for George, to George's Nails for coming up with this. It's a great idea for a tag. Uh, if you want to subscribe, click the button down there, or if I remember to put the end card in, there'll be a thingy, I think it's there. <laughs> I've had a couple of other videos to watch. Leave me a thumbs up if you like nail type videos, and leave me a comment down below. I try to respond to all comments, and I'll see you in my next video. See ya.